I want to show you a quick and easy way to create a body-centered cubic lattice cell structure in Abacus. In the end, we're going to generate results such as this, which consists of a unit cell, a 2x2 two two, and a 4x4 four four representative volume. So let's sit back and relax as we get started with this modeling. Hello. My name is Dr. Michael Okreke. Welcome to CM Videos. This is a YouTube channel where we try to help you create effective computational modeling solutions to whatever computational problem that you're dealing with. Now, the reference publication that we're going to use for this would be this paper that is published by Cheng Zipen in Composite Structures. So please find the link in the description section of this video so that you can get hold of this paper. So the virtual domain that we're going to deal with would be a virtual domain that looks like this. For the unit cell, the unit cell will have a length of 4x4x4 four by four by four, and the strut dimensions would have dimensions that look like this. So we're going to make the struts to be slightly bigger in length so that at the end we're going to trim it off so that we can get into the right shape of what it needs to be. So this will be the structure of the strut. At the end, we will finally end up creating a 4x4x4 four by four by four body center cubic lattice cell structure that looks like this going to be made from titanium but at the moment we are going to be only interested in creating the geometry so let's now go into abacus and begin this modeling here we're in abacus the first thing we're going to do is to create the cylindrical strut so let's just call it a strut and we are going to use a, a sweep method to create that so i'll just need to sketch the length of the cylinder so minus six minus six and then six six so that represents one of the cylinder lengthwise and clearly we need to sketch the planar dimension. So we start with 00, 0 at the original 0 0.75 at that. So that gives us what's happening with the cylinder. So now we have one of the cylinders at an angle, one of the struts, which will obviously have a cylindrical shape. So then we just need to repeat the same thing. So I'm just going to copy that and make it strut 2. Okay, so with strut 2, all we need to do is to change the, the nature of this. Okay, so how do we do that? So maybe we can just put something here and then a construction line and then use a mirror image. But we want to move it. So we use the mirror line and then we select that component. So that's fine. And then we'll complete. Of course, we need to regenerate so that we have the actual shape the way it needs to look like. Then we're going to the assembly module and create the two instances of these two shapes. So now we have a possibility of this structure. So what we're going to then do is let's create uh, so unit cell half. So just half unit cell. So we we'll select that. Now what we're going to then do is to create another instance of that. So this will be another instance of this. So we then need to rotate it. So to rotate this structure, we select the other instance, which is that, and then we're rotating it about the Y axis, and then we're rotating it by 90 degrees. So that gives us the structure. So all we need to then do now is just to create an assembly of it. So we're going to call it body centered unit cell. Okay, so that's, that's that. So we've got the structure that we want. But then there are things that we need to do because ultimately we need to trim it and get it into the right shape. So if we go back to the body center unit cell. So what we now need to do is to define the boundaries within which the unit cell needs to be. So the next thing we need to do now is to create some datum that will define where we are going to apply a pattern plane. But before we do that, we need to create principal axis. So we're going to print principal axis in all the three directions, which is fine. Now, if we click on this, which is a create a datum from a principal plane. So we're going to start with the x, y axis and we want it offset by 2 because our overall length is 4. So from the center line to this will be 2. So we get it in that axis. So if we look at it from that side, so this is fine. So we could also do the same and same minus 2. So that gives us to the other side. In the y and z plane, we have 2 and we could also do the same minus 2. And then we'll do it with the x, z plane, 2 and minus 2. So that gives us a system where everything has been properly presented. So in order to trim off the system, we just need to create a street cut. Now to a street cut on the system. So we'll do the extra cut. We'll get it into this view and select, okay, this is the plane that we're interested in and this is the side that we can use, vertical edge. So this gives us 
the window and then we can then try and do what we need so inside here will be minus two minus two and then two two so this is the inside and then we can put a big one outside and then click done so this would now allow us so clearly this is not pointing in the right direction so we need to switch it around so that we now have a nice cut on that plane let's try another axis so if we try this other axis so we'll probably need to cut through so let's select extrude cut we pick up that point and that's vertical side to it so what we're going to do now that we have it is that we can see clearly what we need so we need to start from this point to this point and then obviously we need a bigger one to create the extrude cut and then again we need to switch it around and then extrude cut so we've got two of them done so there's one on the other side that we also need to create an extrude cut with so we basically need to cut out with the system so what we're going to now do is we are going to extrude cut with this axis okay and we do a similar thing so the next one that we need to use is the top one okay so we're going to have to do with the top one so a straight cut with the top one which is this axis and then it's pointing normal direction to it okay so what we're going to do is to create a square box which will be from here and then finishing up somewhere around here okay and then we get a bigger box so we'll point in the right direction and then we straight cut so we've got our system looking in the right way that it should be so i'm going to turn off all the datum so that we have a clean structure so this gives us a neat cell for this structure which is the first step and clearly what we want to do is to be able to create multiple cases so what we're going to do is that if i go to the instance again what i'm going to do is to create multiple patterns of that so we select here and then we'll go and this will now give us the option of creating four by four which, which looks good so we could make this exact four four so that looks perfect and then we're going to also duplicate this further by again creating a, another patterning of that but so we'll make this four and then we'll turn this off so what we're going to now do is that we need to move it in this axis okay so if we move it in that axis four four everything looks all right okay so complete system okay so if we then switch this to part instances so you can see all the part instances that make up this two by two system in the way they should be so what we then going to do is to create just an assembly of that so we're going to call it bcc um, rve2 by two um, and then we get everything in place so that forms our two by two bcc so what we're going to then do again is to go back to the assembly module okay and try and create the next one so i'm going to suppress this okay and then restore one of the original one which is a bcc unit so if we resume this so this is the window that we want so what we're going to then do with this is basically to create multiples of that so again we select that so the first bit is we need to get it so that it so so we got four, four here so basically we need it to be up to four so that's a four by four on that plane which is good now what we need to do is to create other patterns of the same thing okay but now we don't need that axis we just need this other axis but however this needs to be 16 4 by 4 so 4 times 4 of them is 16 however we need to activate those the two lines so let's just look at the axis so show axis and apply so we've got the axis implemented so we need to change the direction so that it will now go towards this other axis okay so now this is fine now because the system is only as thick as four here so this needs to go back to four to create that perfect connection but we need to go four more so that we get four on that axis as well so then we need to turn off the options here show no datum so we've got a clean structure if i go back to the assembly default you can 
see a clean structure that shows you a 6x6 six six. so this is sort of how you're going to keep building the model as you keep going and getting it bigger and bigger in the end so if we look at the apart instances of course you also see that so what we're going to do now is to say okay this is a PCC um, RVE 4x4 and we're going to get everything in place perfect so the final thing that I would like to really do with all these models um, from the unit cell to all that is to trim them into size so let's look at just the unit cell alone so we, we need to really trim them so that they look much nicer when it comes to um, being able to run simulations on them okay so that means we need to trim off those points trim off all these points and that so how do we do that so we select that and then so what we need to then do is if we find this axis okay so that's an object so we don't really need that axis so what we need is probably another axis so we select so let's look at the right axis that we need okay so what we need to do is trim these bits so how do we how we're we going to do that so let's say okay we should cut you get this window out and then you get that axis in now we have a, a proper window that we want so we could try and do minus two minus two minus two minus two that gives it into that corner and then right at the top here two two so we've got that bit and then we can do the bigger one okay so we look at which side it is pointing so is it pointing in the direction we want we need to flip it around and then do that okay so we now have a proper looking rv that we can go ahead and use for our modeling so we've got these plates and all trimmed in the right sizes and it's a perfectly arranged um, body center cubic cell structure so we'll do the same for the two case so here we need to do a similar work with these two cases so why not let's then try and do it so if we select that bit and select that face so what we need to do with this is to make sure that we're able to trim the structure properly the way it's supposed to be so let's let's use some kind of a guideline here so if we start from here um, so that will be our guide that we're going to use so now how do we start it so let's say we start from somewhere around here zero and minus two okay and then we'll go somewhere up around this point which will be eight and six eight and comma six okay so we've got it looking correct and then we would okay so now it's moving in the direction we want so we trim it so that gives us also an excellent um, arrangement you know cubic RV in every direction and then we're ready to do more simulation with that so what about the 4x4 so a similar kind of thing will work so let's just use one of the faces and and then we'll do a similar kind of arrangement so we'll put a construction line to kind of guide us as to what we are trying to achieve here so again we want to really come down to somewhere around here so this point will be 0 minus 6 okay so just and then we'll hover close to this because the system is very symmetric in every sense so this point will be 16 and 10 16 and 10 okay so that's fine and then we can get this bigger one in and so it's pointing in the right direction with street cut it trims off and then we have a perfect rv so this is the final thing that we need to do um, to show the kind of result that we're interested in here if you like this kind of video please do subscribe to this channel so that when content like this are made you'll be the first to see it thank you and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye